It's Huddy the Joy King back for another video. Still in quarantine. Things are getting better though, I think. Uh -huh. I think. That's what I've been told. I've heard that MLB might start in May. Is that right? Or they're I haven't heard that. I'm not. I'm not. Sports are not on my radar right now. Or something about starting in May. Or Even though I do have an gr awesome Tulane Green Wave shirt on, and you have on the amazing a, Arizona State. Arizona State Sun Devils. All right, so guys, thanks for watching. If you've watched our uh, question and answer, Q&A. Yeah, that thing was long, it and was. if you didn't watch it all, we fully understand. <laughs> yeah. But a lot of people seem to have watched it. Uh, I haven't looked to see like the length. I can look at all that though, and if I found out you're only watching part of it, I may call you out. <laughs> I'm kidding. Look at my hair, by the way, Hudson. My hair is. So I, I learned today that I hadn't had a haircut since February first. Uh, I was supposed to get a haircut on March the 12th or something like that, but I got called into some meetings and didn't get to do it. I've gotten a haircut pretty recently. Yeah, it was that week. Because yeah. I was supposed to get a haircut the same week. It's been almost a month. <laughs> All right. Today, I, have we ever done these? I mean, no, anything? I we've never done them. Okay, I don't think so either. Today, we're doing a Hot Pocket. Uh, we love Hot Pockets. I don't think we've ever reviewed a Hot Pocket. I didn't go back and look. Look, this is like 403 videos. We've done a lot of videos. Yeah. Not all of them are food reviews, but most of them are. Mm -hmm. uh, so anyway, but this is a special one. This is a Philly steak. Wait. It smells good. Philly steak and cheese. Okay, so Hudson loves Philly cheese steak. Mm -hmm. I've only had one real one, though, at Charlie's. Well, you've had the ones yeah. I've cooked. Those yeah. are real. Well, yeah, I know. I mean, they're not from Philadelphia, but the one you got at that other place it was it in Chattanooga. That's not Philadelphia either. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I know what you're saying. You've only had like one real one from a real restaurant. Yeah. Okay, so look, this isn't going to be real either, but look at these things. So they we look perfect. We got online and we Googled how to cook a Hot Pocket in a air fryer. Spray it six minutes. Flip it six minutes and spray it again. Is Looks it? perfect. I got a feeling those things are scalding hot. Yeah. So we're going to discuss a few more things before we eat them. One of the things we're going to discuss is we have uh, we have some stuff we can review, but not a ton of stuff. Um, I need for you to comment below if you want to see us try fag some Fago drinks. <laughs> That's and show the Fago drink you have in your hand right now. It's Fago twist. So, what we were considering. Our dog is sneezing. What we were considering is taking some of the Fago products that we've been drinking and we enjoy, and comparing them against like the Coke. Ne yeah, the name brand. Sprite. All below. We may do that. Put down below if you'd like to see us do that. I don't. Do you care about Fago? Do you know what Fago is? <laughs> I believe Fago is straight up out of Detroit Rock City. Uh, I'm not sure about that, but I think I'm right. It's probably on the bottom or the, the can. We'll look on there and see. All right. So uh, other things going on with the uh, with our family. Uh, last night, I wanted to mention this. Last night, Joe's Famous Pizzeria, which oh used to be used to have a local restaurant, and then he moved to Madison or Huntsville, and now I think he just does a food truck. He, we, when he was here, we used to go, look, their pizza's good. Their crust is amazingly good. Their pizza's good, but... The margarita pizza. The, oh, the margarita pizza, and I'm not... I had to look up exactly what a margarita pizza is, because I'm going to try to make my own. His margarita pizza is amazing. Mm -hmm. Hudson and I basically ate a whole one last night. Yeah, I ate like three or four pieces. So did I. Unbelievably good. I don't know what he puts on it. It's very expensive. I don't know why it's so expensive. It's way more expensive than like a regular pepperoni, but it seems like it has less stuff on it. I don't know. But their crust is amazing. Yeah, anyway, if, ju if you are in our area, North Alabama, Al Athens, Huntsville, Decatur, and Joe's Pizzeria, I believe that's right. Joe's yes, Pizza. Joe's Pizza or something like that. Anyway, I'll link it on here. If his food truck is in your area, because what they're doing, we talked to him a little bit last night. They're going to neighborhoods, large neighborhoods. And they actually park not in our neighborhood, but behind us. We're in a situation where there's like one, two, three, four. There's five neighborhoods, and they're all interconnected. So he was back there. And let me tell you, it was amazing. It was. It's. I think it's the best pizza I've ever had. <laughs> I can't believe I'm almost agreeing. I'm not fully agreeing with you, but I'm I'm getting close to agreeing. 
I don't know, but I, it's hard for me to say that's the best pizza I've ever eaten. But it was really good. Mm -hmm. The margarita pizza. It was a five. Everything about it's good. It was a five. Look up a margarita pizza if you've never had one. They're they're really good. We're gonna find. I told Hudson we're gonna find a frozen margarita pizza and we're gonna yeah. see how it compares. <laughs> Unless it's nine dollars and then we're not good. Yeah. All right, Hudson. Do you think these are cool enough to eat now? Uh. Sure. Look at this thing. It is beautiful out of the air fryer. Yeah, it's perfect. It's got to be done on the inside too. There's no way, you know, sometimes you cook these in the oven and, and you get a little cold, cold bite. I don't think we're getting yeah. a cold bite. So again, here's what we're eating. We're eating Hot Pockets Philly Steak and Cheese. It, look, it has a croissant crust. Croissant. Now, we'll let you know what we think about this in, in just a second. All right, buddy. Cheers. Cheers. Be careful. Okay, that was mostly crushed. But that crust is good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Look, see, it's got basically this crust. I smell onions. Mm. The crust is amazing in the air fryer. Anything in the air fryer is better. We, just so you know, we don't cook in the microwave unless we have to. Mmm, that's good. Pretty good. Let me ask you this. I know you're only like two bites in. Is it better than the pepperoni version? Mmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know how I feel yet. We can do some ASMR with the crust. <clears throat> it's very <clears throat> flaky. Kind of went down my throat. I'm going to be honest. This don't have enough, as much flavor as I thought it would. It's good though. I oh. like it. Ooh. I think I prefer the pizza version. Well, I think they're kind of tied. What did we usually buy when we would buy these in the past? Just like pepperoni. That's what I thought. Honestly, this was not the one I wanted to get. I wanted to get a bunch of different ones, but the frozen section was so picked over, that was about all they had. They had that and hot ham and cheese. We bought... We Okay. Yeah, and I couldn't remember. I couldn't remember yet. Now, I will say this. In the toaster oven, this thing cooked perfectly. Mm -hmm. No cold bites. Mm -mm. The cheese is melted perfectly. I mean, it's good. I just don't know, don't know that I like it better than the other versions. So why don't we just score it and get on with it? Because we did a 53 minute, 54 minute video last time. Let's don't go that we way. We need to do the uh, some of the original flavors. We will. I'm talking find them. Huh. They actually sell these at Dollar General, so I can probably find them down there. We have a Dollar, Dollar General like one mile from our house, just so you know. All right, honey. There's about 50 in North Alabama. <laughs> There's more than 50. There's probably 25 just in our county. All right, I've got to do something with this hair. Why are there so many? I need many? a barrette. Why are there so many? Because they're basically taking over for convenience stores. It's like a little Walmart on every corner. <laughs> All right, honey. Let's grate them. Look, there's your cheese and meat and stuff in there. What would you give? The Hot Pocket Philly Steak and Cheese version with croissant crush on a zero to five scale. Uh... A 4.5. The crust is amazing, just lacks flavor. Yeah. It's like you think it would have a lot of flavor and you bite into it and it's just like. Let me tell you what this reminds me of. It, and I don't know why, but it does. It reminds me of a beef pot pie. You ever had a beef pot pie? Nope. That's what this reminds me of. It's not bad at any level. Like, I would, I would eat it again. I, it just, I'm agreeing with him, though. It doesn't have a whole lot of flavor. Like, I can taste a little onion, maybe a little pepper, the beef. I don't know if I even taste beef, do you? I do taste the cheese. I do taste it, but it's just like... I taste the cheese, and the crust is excellent. Mm -hmm. Especially... Very crunchy. Especially in the air fryer. I don't know how it would have been in the microwave. It ain't cold in the middle. It's not cold. I'm going to give this, based mostly on flavor, a 3.75. That's just where I'm going, honey. The crust I, makes it for me. 
It is really good. We we need to try some of the other uh, other brands, other models, <laughs> other Ooh. flavors, other flavors. That's what I'm looking for. Because I got a get paper towel. I got a feeling I would I would prefer the other flavors over this one. And I, I've had hot ham and cheese. It's been a long time though. I've had the pizza. We used to get the pizza ones all the time. Yeah, we used to eat them all the time. I don't know why we never reviewed them. Yeah. We used to get like gigantic boxes of them. Like ten packs or whatever. Twelve packs, Twelve I think. Packs. Yeah. Anyway, so that's where I am with this. These uh, these are great for being in quarantine. <laughs> and they're great for a quick meal if you're hungry. Great to be put in the air fryer. Yeah, they're awesome in the air fryer. So air fryer, if you're not you put cooking gears in the air fryer, start doing it. Six minutes, spray it. Six minutes, no preheat. Flip it, spray it. Six more minutes, perfect. Don't you agree? Mm -hmm. Oh, 390 degrees. All right, so thanks for watching. We'll be back soon, I'm sure, with something else. Ooh. Even if we have to review, like, us drinking water out of the faucet. <laughs> we're going to come up with something. I mean, I almost feel like we're almost to that point. Yeah. <laughs> Here we are drinking tap water. What do you give it, honey? I give it like a one compared to... <laughs> but what if it's on ice? Two. Um, okay. All right, hopefully we won't have to do that, but I feel like we're getting to that point. But I, tell you, I will tell you, I'm to the point where I think we're going to have to just go get some fast food every once in a while. Mm. If we get infected, we get infected. It is what it is. <laughs> All right, so guys, keep it safe, and uh, we'll see you uh, soon with another video for Honey, and a chili. We're out, toodles, boy.